I am headed to Seattle today in like a couple hours and I'm gonna vlog. Yeah. I am so excited to go back to Seattle. You have no idea. It's been two two years. Yeah. It's been two years since I left and I'm so ready to go back. It, the whole reason that I'm going back is really so that I can go back to my old dance studio and watch their recital. There's some kids that I taught when I went there and I want to see them dance. And I also just want to see my friends that still go to that studio. I want to see them dance. And I want to see all my teachers that taught me throughout high school and middle school. I'm just really excited to see everyone again. I was watching some of my old dance videos last night and I miss it so much. I miss performing. Don't get me wrong, like I love what I'm doing now. I love teaching people my choreography and filming dancers and all of that, but I really do miss like taking classes every single day and having so much time, literally all of my extra time go into that and then performing all the time. I miss it so much. And guys, let me tell you how excited I am to get back on an airplane. <laughs> it is so funny to me because airplanes used to be one of my biggest fears. I just never wanted to get on them. I was always terrified of them. But now, I can't get enough. I love it. That's gonna be where I am. Let's do this. Bruno, it is just me. It's just me. All right, here's the fit. Got a nice Adidas jacket on baseball tee, some baggy pants, and of course, let's do this. All right guys, so I just made it to Washington. I'm here, I just took a walk around Newport Hills and it is so weird, so much has changed. So starting tomorrow, I'll be able to go to my old studio and I'm just gonna be going there each night and then um, on Saturday morning to film some classes. I'm gonna put together a little video for the studio. And yeah, I'm really excited. I think Friday is my most open day, so I think I'm gonna go downtown Seattle and like go to Pike's Place and stuff like that. I wanna take a minute to just talk because today was really just me traveling and there's not a whole lot that I can film. I was just like on a plane and it's pretty boring. I've been hearing lots of comments or questions from like my friends and just people that I know lately and um, I want to address it, not because I know what I'm talking about or because I think I'm right. Um, I'm really just giving, you know, my opinion and that's it. So a lot of people tell me, oh, I wish I could travel or I wish I could just start, you know, this business that I want to start or just do the things that I want to do. And I always come back and say, well, why don't you? And people always look at me like, well, I don't have money or I don't have time or I have this or I have that. And before you guys think I'm getting like all sassy, I understand that you need money to do things and I understand that people have lives and most of us are working our butts off and that takes time so I understand when you say that you don't have money or you don't have time to do something but we each have 24 hours in the day all of us every single person on this planet has 24 hours in their day it's up to you what you do with those hours I mean most people that say that they don't have time it's because they're prior prioritizing other things that maybe they don't need to. Like, I am just thinking back when I was in high school. I know that I was really busy in high school. I mean, I was dancing. Um, part of the year I did three jobs at a time. I was going to school full time. I was a really busy person. But, I mean, I still... I look back on it and I'm like, I wish that I would have like taken some extra hours, even if it was just like one hour out of the day to just do something that like was like going for a hike or just going for a walk or just doing something that just was kind of relaxing and just took my mind off of my crazy schedule. But instead, like I would just complain as a teenager and be like, I have no time.
but really it's like no I mean I could have used an hour that I was watching Netflix to go do whatever it is that I wanted to do so that's kind of what I mean when I say that it's just your priorities what are what is more important that means you have to wake up an extra hour to just do a little bit at a time to get closer to your goal whatever it is then do that that is just what I think I think that it's completely up to you and what you want to do with your day and uh, I'm not saying this saying that like I've got this figured out like I definitely have so many days where I'm lazy and I'm just like oh, I have no time but it's like actually I'm just tired and I'm being lazy and I'm being a brat and just being annoying about it but really it's like I have I have the whole evening I could go out and like shoot a video I could go online and look up tutorials of different ways to edit and whatnot <sighs> the whole gist of this is just decide what you want to do with your day because all of us every single person on this earth has the same amount of time in each day and um, nobody's forcing you to do what you're doing I I would hope not don't get discouraged if you're looking at your life and you're like, I am not achieving any of the goals I want to. Just, just step back, take a breath, and just evaluate what you're doing with your day. Maybe you need to rearrange your priorities. I don't know. I'm not you. This is just my thought. I mean, I try to do this every day, and it's hard. It really is. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign out today. It is, I think, like 8.30 or something. I need to go do some work, so I am going to walk to the place that I'm staying and get some work done, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.